Alpine takes digital sound to a new level. There's digital sound, then there's PDX digital sound. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. Videos about audio. I know it doesn't make sense, but if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. So stick around for the cool content and don't be surprised if you see a big dummy. What's up guys? Big D Wiz, Williston Audio Labs. Today we're going to take a look at another Alpine amplifier. Today we'll look at the PDX M12. This amplifier is actually discontinued as of September 2018, but we're still going to take a look at it because I picked it up a few months ago. These are small amplifiers, about the size of a sheet of paper, and they're well known across the industry for their low distortion, great sound quality, and the way they have this rollback technology. So if the amp gets hot, it won't shut off. It'll just cut back power. So let's open up the box here, take a closer look, see what this amp's all about. I do appreciate the way these Alpines come with a birth sheet. You can see 1,261 watts at 4 ohms, 14.4 volts DC. Here are the power terminals. These are plugs that go into the amplifier, make for easy, quick connect and quick disconnect. These accept 4 gauge and the speaker terminal. Also, um, plugs and unplugs from the amplifier. These accept 8 gauge. So... Uh, I'm not sure. Some people like these. Some people don't. I think they're okay. Here are the measurements of the amp. Like I said, about the size of a sheet of paper. 10 and a half inches by 7 and 9 sixteenths by about 2 inches. So it's really about 10 by 8 by 2. Again, very similar to a size of a sheet of paper. So pretty small footprint. Here we're going to take this little front access panel off so we can check some of the adjustments. We have sensitivity select. And a gain control beside of that, it has a subsonic filter, which is not variable. It's either all 15 or 30 hertz. Then we have a low pass filter, which is variable up to 400 hertz. On the opposite side, we have the place for the power plug plugs in. You can see that there. And the four 25 amp fuses for 100 amps of fusing. There's a speaker output plug, which is easily removable. Beside that, remote bass control does not come with... Remote base control, boo, Alpine. And then we have RCA ins and outs via standard RCA jacks. Now, if you'd like to see the internals of this amp, make sure you stick around because I'm going to show it off after the dyno test. Make sure you check out a new podcast with Hi Fi Vega and myself called 12 Volt Talk. You can find us on your favorite podcast application or youtube.com slash 12 e talk. Check us out. If you're curious about the different modes of the amp dyno, make sure you check the video description. I've got a link to a video there where I describe each of the different tests and what they mean. So check that out. Here we've got the Alpine PDX M12 wired up. So let's fire it up and try it out on the dyno. You can see the four gauge connections here for power and ground. We've got those very short run into one alt. And then we've got eight gauge going into the amp dyno. And we have our Stinger 6000 series RCAs. First up, let's try 4 ohms. The amplifier is rated 1200 watts, which is actually really good for 4 ohms. Certified test takes us up to 1% total harmonic distortion. It's rated 1200 watts. Yeah, 1260. So we beat that rating. And here's the efficiency numbers. You can see we pulled 117 amps, about 75.6% efficient. That's plus or minus about 5%. Now what's really interesting is to check the burst sheet, 1261, they got it 14.4. So we're right on that number at a little bit less voltage. Let's try it up to clipping now. Should get a little bit more power up to clipping. And we did 1,343 watts at 
4.03 volts, about 72% efficient. So the clipping tests, you know, they run a little longer, so sometimes they're not quite as efficient as the other tests. The dynamic test gives you the ability to know what the amp will do with music dynamics. And you can see it does even more power, 1,460 watts at 14.6 volts. All right, now we'll try the 2 ohm test for the PDXM12. Again, it's rated 1,200 watts, so the same at 4 ohms and 2 ohms. So let's try the first certified test at 1% THD, 1,365 watts at 14.13. So again, beat its rated power and efficiency is good, 76%. Again, these are plus or minus you know, about 5% or so. So it's anywhere between 70 and 80%, so very good. Uncertified takes us up to clipping. Again, 40 Hertz track. And look at the <laughs> 1,357 watts, but look at the current pull. So what I did was actually slow down this. So you could see how fast the amp clamp uh, clamps up, the DC clamp. So it wasn't able to get a very accurate rating on the current pull, so I didn't provide that. Let's try dynamic power. Oh yes, look at this, almost 2,400 watts at two ohms, 14.54, very nice. All right, now we're gonna take the amplifier partially apart so I can show you guys the internals. And I'll just go ahead and tell you right off the bat, this amp was not easy to get into. There were several screws on the bottom. There were some on the top, some on the side. You had to pop a panel off. It was a big pain to get in this amp. So I hope you guys appreciate seeing inside. And this is a very unique design. You're not gonna see this on any other brand. Alpine obviously spent the engineering funds here to generate their own design which is very neat and it's also neat that all these PDX amps are the same size so you can stack them on top of each other, get the mono block, get the four channel, whatever, you know, stack them up. You can see the internals here, yeah, it's got a short ribbon cable between the one panel and the other so I wasn't able to fully open it because I didn't want to unplug or either break that connector on the ribbon cable. Lots of caps all squished together. They look to be uh, 80 volt, 1800 microfarad. You can see the inductors over here and also uh, you can see the transformers on the opposite side. So let's take a closer look at the results, even though you just saw them. We'll talk about them again. First up, 4 ohms. Again, rated 1200 watts. We beat that easily. At each test, 1260, 1343, and 1460 respectively. And 2 ohms, again, easily beat the rating of 1200 watts. 1365, 1357, 2396. All very good ratings very good results from this amplifier thanks as always for helping support my videos check me out at patreon.com slash old school stereo until next time bd whiz i'm out of here all right alpine pdx m12 we're going to try 1.6 ohms it's only rated at 2 ohms, so don't try this at home. Let's just see if it'll do anything dynamically at 1.6, 40 hertz. Twenty nine oh nine, fourteen point five two. 14.52. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs>